Hey, welcome to the first of two short videos about the system file attribute that Microsoft Windows sometimes sets on files in your system. In this first video, I will show you how you can securely erase a folder, just really as an example of one situation in which the system file attribute can cause problems for you, and to walk you through a quick method to remove the attribute from those files. In the second video, I will be demonstrating how to use batch file to automate this process for an entire folder, including any subfolders that might be nested within it. So the example, as I said, is we're going to just securely erase a folder of uh, secret files that I have in my system. Now I'm going to download it in my documents. And it's this secret files folder here, which actually just contains Muse Absolution for the sake of this uh, demonstration. So I'm going to go on to Secret Files there. I'm going to go on to A Shampoo Win Optimizer 6, which is a program that I'm going to use to wipe this folder. And I'm going to click on that one. Now, the uh, basically what Windows sees as a system file is anything that has the uh, system file attribute set on set on the file. Now. We can see here it's got album art small that's actually uh, what it's stalled on. So I'm not going to debug, just close the program. And you see there is no album art here. So to get up the system files, what we're going to do is go to Tools, go to Folder Options, we're going to go to View, and then we're going to show Hidden Files. But we're also going to uh, uncheck this, the High Protected Operator System Files. We actually want to show the system operating uh, files. So, click yes to that one, and now that's showing the operating system files, so that's OK, click OK on that one. And now we can see them up here, and we can see that they're all greyed out slightly because, uh, because they're hidden files. So, if I can right-click on this one and go to its properties, you can see here that it's hidden. But even if you go into the advanced menu here, it's ready for archiving, but there's nothing to actually tell you that it's a system file. So, but it is because we know, well, you can see that if you try to uncheck the hidden file, that, uh, you know, you can't do anything with it, as you can see. You can change it to read only or not, but you can't remove this hidden file. That's because it's a system file, and system files are always hidden by their very nature. So click OK on that one, so we've discovered that these are the uh, the system files that we want to destroy these for here. So we're going to do this, we're going to use the command prompt. Now normally to get the command prompt you come down here and type in um, CMD for command and that will come up there, but I actually want to open this in the, uh, in the folder so I don't have to type the whole uh, path uh, to erase these files. So to do this, you know, when you click on uh, your folder normally, you get this uh, little uh, menu up here. But if you actually hold down the shift key while you actually right click, you then see that you get a few extra things, uh, a few extra options up here. One of which is open the command window here, which if I click that, it then opens it up. And I don't have to then type this whole address in there. Uh, I can just type in the name of the file. Now the command that we're going to use for this is the um, attribute command, which is attrib. And I'm going to tell it to take away the system file attribute and also that hidden file attribute. So it's dash s dash dash h on this one. And then we put a, a slash s in it. And that tells it to actually apply the options that we've uh, we've said here the slash dash s and uh, dash h so if i go to desktop on this one now and i want properties i can then tell you what i haven't done and that's to i haven't shown the file type after these uh, files so i just want to add that on here to so go up to tools folder options again and view um, and it'll be in here. Hide extensions for known file types. I actually want to tick, untick that because I want to copy the whole extension over to the command prompt. 
So if I go now to right click on there, go to properties, and now I can just, what I'm going to do is to right click and copy this, and go to left click on the command prompt, on the menu there, and now if you type control C into the command, you find that it does something weird like that. So up arrow to copy what you had before. Oh, that's not working for me either. Okay, I'll type it in. At trip dash s dash h slash s. And then right click on here and you can see then you get the option to paste. So if I paste, paste in desktop INI file now. And now I can see this has come to a full icon now. And if I right click and go to its properties, I can see, yep, the hidden uh, has been unchecked now. So it's no longer a system file. And I can safely do that now for all the others. So if I go to properties, control C or right click and copy. It doesn't really matter on this one. Now go back to there. I just press the up arrow key then to uh, get what was there before. And now you can delete that and then, oops, I can't press control V. I have to paste it in. That's what I did before. I tried to copy from the command prompt. No, it didn't work. There we go. Folder JPG. Enter on that one. My folder JPG changes up here. Now if I control... Yeah, if I control V normally, I get that. Control V just just won't work. So you have to use that um, right click on the uh, on the mouse and paste it in. That's not too bad. I'll just uh, oh, I'm going to go. This is kind of interesting. I want to show you this. You can actually, if you go to the end here, and you hold down the Control Shift and left arrow, and then you can just highlight large blocks of text like that. One other way, which is normally easier, which I like to do, is Control Shift and the Home key, and that just highlights it all for you. And then with that highlighted, then you can copy it in. Come back to there, up arrow to get what was there before. Delete that file, and we'll. Oops, it is. You're not going to Control V. Paste it in there. Right click and paste then click OK again and now our album art there and then we just got one more here to do oh, got two more I think to do um, so I can go to properties on that one do the same thing get it at the end there or if you just put it in the middle you can just press end or you can even do it the other way and go to home but then it's just control shift and because we're at home we can press end and that highlights the whole thing. Right click again, copy that. Go back to your command prompt, up arrow. Got all this to delete now. Now I can right click and paste. That's that one done. And now I just have this one more to do here. So I can go to my properties again. That's fine. I can right click that. I can copy this one. Click OK on that one. If I now go to my command prompt, up arrow, delete all those, and now right click and paste. And that should be now my last one done. Just double check on this one. Properties. Yeah, properties hidden. That should be fine. So now these are no longer system files. I can go to secret files, a shampoo and wipe. Um, if you wanted to reverse this process, if I just give the example of the desktop INI file here, if say, um, for instance, I might have moved these from one place to another and now, now that they've moved successfully, I might want to um, re-establish that um, system file attribute. So I can just copy this one again and go here. And now instead of the, ah, I did it again, paste, instead of the 
minus h plus minus s, I can actually put a plus. And the plus tells it to add the system file. And of course, because it'll be a system file, I'll have to add the uh, hidden file attribute again, although it's not really necessary because the system file, it will add that again anyway. So I N I. Now, if I do that one, yep, so desktop I N I has actually now changed again back to a system file. You can see it's uh, grayed out up there. And I, I'm just pressing up arrow continually to just to get up to my minus s on my pre, the previous one I had, which was that one up there. So I just want to now press enter again. That should now be fine, and I should now be fine just to erase the whole folder. Hey, shampoo, wipe. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Fingers crossed. Okay, we've now done, and you can see that from my documents, that whole um, folder is completely gone now. So that's how to use the command prompt uh, to um, change um, attributes on single files. Now in the next video, I'll be showing you how you can use a batch file to automate the process and remove the system file attribute for all files in a folder. So I will see you there.